Is Sand Battery Solution for Energy Storage? A sand battery is an advanced energy storage system that uses sand to store and later release heat from renewable sources like wind and solar power. This technology is exemplified by the world's first large sand battery. Unlike expensive lithium-ion batteries, sand batteries are affordable and easy to maintain. How could sand batteries change the way we store energy? What future improvements are on the horizon for this technology? Can they become a global solution to energy and climate issues? Stay with us till the end, because we'll discover how this groundbreaking technology might reshape our energy landscape and address major environmental concerns. What is a sand battery? A sand battery is a special type of energy storage system that uses sand to hold heat. It's designed to store extra energy from sources like wind and solar power. Here's how it works. The sand absorbs heat when there is more energy than needed. Later, this heat can be used to warm up homes or provide hot steam for factories that usually rely on fossil fuels. As we use more renewable energy, we need ways to store it because it doesn't always come when we need it. That's where sand batteries come in handy. They make sure we can use clean energy even when we have a lot of it. The first sand battery was set up in Kankonpa, a town in western Finland. This battery helps heat homes and a local swimming pool by connecting to a district heating network managed by a company called Vatajankovsky. How a sand battery helps us store energy. In a small town in western Finland, engineers have built the world's first large sand battery at the Vatajankovsky power plant. The battery is like a big box filled with 100 tons of sand. Inside the box, the sand gets heated up to 600 degrees Celsius, 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit, using electricity from wind turbines and solar panels. A fan blows hot air around the sand, which stays hot even when it's freezing outside. The sand can keep this heat for a long time. So when people need heat or hot water, the battery can provide it. The battery can store enough heat to warm about 100 homes and a public swimming pool. It's also cheap to run because it uses low-quality sand that builders didn't want. The only part that moves is the fan, which is easy to replace if needed. The sand battery is a great way to make sure we have clean energy all year round. How four Finnish friends created the world's first sand battery. Four friends from Finland, Tommy Eronen, Marku Ilonen, Lisa Neskali, and Vil Kivioja, came up with a new way to store clean energy using sand. They used to be athletes together in their hometown and are now working on a cool science project. Tommy Aronin had the idea while reading about old Finnish fireplaces made from sand and stone. He thought, why not use sand to store energy from the sun and wind? So he and Marku Ilonen started working on a sand battery. They tested their idea in Tommy's grandfather's garden and then built the first big sand battery at a power plant in Kankan Path. This sand battery can keep energy for a long time and is much cheaper than other types of batteries. Unlike lithium-ion batteries, which can be expensive and degrade over time, batteries are simple and cost-effective. The sand battery at Kankan Path only costs about $200,000 to build, while a similar-sized lithium-ion battery would cost 10 times more. How the sand battery could change the future of energy the sand battery created by Finnish engineers is a great way to store heat, especially in cold places. It works well for heating homes during the chilly winters in Finland, but there's a small problem. It's not very good at sending power back to the electricity grid. Right now, the sand battery can only convert heat back to electricity with about 30% efficiency. To make it better, the engineers are working on a new system with a turbine that could make the conversion up to 75 to 80% efficient. They hope to have this new system ready in a couple of years. In the meantime, they are planning to build a much larger sand battery for another heating company in Finland. This new battery will be 10 times bigger than the one in Kankanpa and will be able to store a lot more heat. The idea is that sand batteries could be used not just for heating homes, but also for various industries that need high heat. The engineers dream of expanding their sand battery technology around the world. They are looking into using other materials if there's a sand shortage in some places. However, getting companies in cities to invest in new technology can be hard because they are cautious and don't want to risk money. Despite these challenges, the team is excited and believes their sand battery can help fight climate change.
they see it as a way to make a big impact, just like when they used to compete in sports. When we think about storing energy, we often imagine big batteries. But there are other cool ways to do it. One of them is called Thermal Energy Storage TEs. Instead of using batteries or special fluids, TEAs uses solid materials like sand. Sand is great for storing energy because it's everywhere and doesn't cost much. A special technology heats up sand using power from things like wind turbines or solar panels. Once the sand is hot, it can keep the heat for a long time. Researchers at the U.S. Department of Energy have tested this idea and found that sand can hold on to its heat for days. This is super helpful because it means we can save up energy when it's sunny or windy and use it later, even when it's not. Sand is a good choice for energy storage because it's cheap and easy to find. It doesn't need rare or expensive materials like some other types of batteries. Plus, sand can stay hot for a long time, unlike other storage methods that might be more complicated or expensive. In the future, sand batteries might be used to store energy for big needs, like keeping houses warm during the winter or helping industries that need lots of heat. This simple but smart idea could be a big part of solving our energy problems. Not all sand is created equal when it comes to storing energy. Researchers from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory NREL, have found that only some types of sand work best for this purpose. They tested different kinds of sand and other materials to see which one could hold and keep heat the best. Among the options, ordinary sand from the Midwest was the best choice. It's cheap and works well for storing heat. Other materials, like special ceramics, were better at holding heat, but they were much more expensive. The nice thing about using sand is that you can easily add more if you need to store more energy. This makes it a flexible and cost-effective choice. While there is a setup cost for the equipment needed to turn the heat back into electricity, adding more sand is much cheaper than buying more batteries. So while superheated sand is a great way to store energy for a long time, it's important to pick the right kind of sand that can handle the job and keep the costs down. What potential do you see for sand batteries in your local community or industry? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our upcoming videos. Your support means a lot to us. Take care until the next one, and feel free to drop a comment sharing your thoughts. See you soon.